prestigious gaming editions, and jiggle physics this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. everybody to boss battle number 171 the show where your writers insert point to begin.com get together and talk about video games i'm your host bobby fj town but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast let's see what everybody achieved this week chachi how about you what you achieve call of duty yay pew, 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 pew. did you know scope somebody yet no um but i'm back to farming too. back to farming yay what farming Farming. Look, I'm farming right now. I'm is that a farming is, simulator? Is, 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 are, you, are you playing Fallout or Call of Duty? I'm playing right farming now, simulator. Farming simulator. Oh. 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 Okay, I got you. I smell what you're farming. But that's it. That's all I did. Oh, I uh, I, I lifetime achievement unlocked. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. I cooked the turkey. Whoa! Uh, and cooking mama, or? No, a real, real turkey. A real turkey. That's real what, turkey. Sort of I, I ate a turkey. Does that count? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sort of will tell you that I, ate a, that I cooked the turkey. Wait, was that, the, was that that cur- turkey you locked in the fridge? It was his pet turkey. It, it is. It was your pet turkey. <laughs> it is. Um, oh, I no. Tried, I tried to free it. It didn't go anywhere, so I seized it. It was frozen. I could just picture Chachi throwing a turkey and it just falling. <laughs> it was like, go. I uh, I had to, I had to, uh, I, I tried to free it. It didn't move, so uh, I seasoned that bitch and I put it in the oven. But, uh, that's all I accomplished. <laughs> all right, Sorg, what'd, yep. Sorg, what'd you achieve this week? Uh, I got back into Mortal Kombat X, and I actually loaded um um WWE 2K on my phone and just started pounding away at that. I am now the Intercontinental and the uh, uh United States Champion. Uh, man, John Cena was really tough uh to 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 beat. It took me like two or three times. Uh, so yeah, I, it's a lot of fun for for being a mobile game, and they did an update sometime over the summer that makes the controls a little more um tolerable, I guess. Uh, so because it's, it's really kind of gesture based and, uh, it, 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 yeah, it's completely playable now. <laughs> I know it took that long. Right. Um, but, uh, no w- worthwhile. And it's, I think it's like eight bucks on iOS. So if you're looking for a little bit of an alternative, um, um, it's so, it, it, it was outdated when it came out over a year ago or no, it was less than a year ago, actually. Uh, so the shield broke up what, like before last summer and the shield is still represented as the shield in this game. Wow. So give you an idea there. And it's 2K16. Uh, it's just 2K. I, I, oh, 2K, I was okay. I was hoping that it was just 2K meant that they were just going to update things from year to year. That didn't happen yet. So <laughs> maybe maybe that'll come here in a couple months after 2K16 comes 2000. out. What's that? <laughs> it's from the year 2000. Yeah, it's just like no, it's just like just, the Conan version of WWE games. From the year 2000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Uh, Fallout. <clears throat> I played a lot of Fallout. Uh, I got on to the Brotherhood of Steel ship, and they liked me so much. Not only did they make me a knight, they gave me a suit of power, aka power armor, and I want to wear it all day, even though it's it lasts me like maybe it doesn't last too long. So, uh, let's just let's just say that. Uh, the first thing I did was use my axe, and I realized that drained battery so i stopped other than that uh nothing because <laughs> fallout 4 <laughs> bobby what did you achieve in game all right year? i i achieved i was off all last week um i played a ton of fallout 4 um i played a lot of the side missions i found that comic shop with the axe in it the grog mm-hmm. knock axe or whatever it is it's an amazing axe it is it's awesome um i i i if you haven't played or if, it, if you haven't found swan yet in the game um i highly see you suggest you do that and have a suit power suit with you mm-hmm. when you find him um he scared the crap out of me <laughs> um and then i i got the I, I got a couple games on black friday um i got uh the 
uh, legendary edition of Destiny. Um, so now I have. Club, I know. I'm. I'm. I'm glad to be in the club. Um, Even though I already you know, did everything. I, I didn't start the Taken King yet. I'm. I'm working my way through um, the other two expansions first. Um, played a really cool boss battle against the uh, hand, hand of Crota. He, mm-hmm. he was kind of tough. Um, and then basically. Oh, I got WWE 2K16 in the mail yesterday, and they sent me two copies, so I had to send one back. But, yeah. No, you didn't have to I send didn't have to. You didn't I have to. I sent it back because I didn't need two copies, and I wanted to be honest. So. Well, somebody there we could go. use that, so, sir. I didn't Could've. pay for it, though. It's stealing. Could have used it. Anyways, mm-hmm. Chachi. No. Do you want to take us around the night? <laughs> no, because you returned a free copy of the game. I'm sorry. It's okay, Bobby. It was I, mine to return. I forgive you. Actually, it was not mine to return. No, it was yours to return. It was yours. You give it away. Hey, hey it Chachi. Yeah. Chachi. Yeah. What, what if I ask you if if you want to take us around the internet? Okay, fine. Let, Ch- like let, Ch- let, let Riz go ahead and ask him. No. Ch- Chachi? Nobody's going to take us around the internet. Yes, I'm what? taking us around the internet. Yay! 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 From around the internet. Uh, first up, imager user uh, Cruzy decided that he was going to recreate XCOM in Microsoft Excel. Uh, it's a fully playable game complete with uh, uh, complete with a story to go with it that falls in between uh, XCOM EW and XCOM 2. Uh, I put the imager link in so you can go over and read all the details. Um, but this guy... This guy has some patience. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, it's incredible. Um, next up, uh, you guys... It's here. It it finally came out. It's three hundred dollars. Oh, I am talking about the farming simulator controller. No, no way. Yeah, um, I put a link to where you can buy it on New Egg for two ninety nine. Oh um, it's almost as much as a tractor. Yeah, um, it is. The reason it's you can buy just the steering wheel in the pedals for one hundred and forty nine dollars. Why would you do that? What's that? Why would you do that? I don't know. Um, There's a control well, panel. Yeah. Uh, if you want the extra 25 button fully programmable control panel, that'll run you another 150. Uh, if it if it weren't if it wasn't 300 dollars, I would I'd probably get it. Mm-hmm. I'm not even not even gonna pretend that I wouldn't. If Next it, year for Black Friday, it'll be on sale. Yeah, um, but I, I'm definitely going to keep an eye out because if I can find it really cheap, then I probably will buy it. Just that's like, just so, that's like the Wing Commander um, controller. Yeah. yeah. Um, and honestly, it would I, I probably shouldn't buy it ever because it's just going to sit there. Mm-hmm. But it's one of those things where I'm like, oh man, that would be cool. Uh, last but not least. Uh, Smash Brothers player Hungry Box, who's famous for using Jigglypuff, gave a completely <laughs> heartbreaking interview after winning a huge tournament. Um, I put it in because it gets awkward, and I enjoy yeah, I awkward situations. Laugh at this. Yeah. I couldn't laugh at this, but this is this is pretty yeah. hard. Like he, he, I, I don't understand how he jumps from this to that, but you know, what are you gonna do? So, uh, yeah, you can go over wait, to InCircleTopia.com and check it out. What's so heartbreaking about it? Can you explain a little bit? Uh, he, he ends up talking about uh, the amount of torment that goes into winning a tournament, um, how he always finished second, and then somehow segues into the fact that his uh, recently deceased father told him he would never, ever win a tournament. Jeez. And he's just like, wow. I, I showed him I could do it. He's like, I did it. Boom. The wrong kid died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, all right. How? Sure. 
uh, it's just awkward. I enjoy awkward situations. So I thought maybe you guys would enjoy it. And yeah, the rental issues. I, I, I watched that uh, I think last week as well. Uh, and it got really weird in the middle of it. And I yeah. just, I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, first of all, he's the, he's, he mains with Jigglypuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, which, it's, which is scary by the way. Uh, Betty Hughes's rest a lot. I, I found out firsthand how about rest, um, and then he just starts going on and on and on. I'm like, I shouldn't be watching this. Yeah, it's like a, an awkward situation that is happening in public, and you don't want to watch it. Mm-mm. You keep watching it. It's like a train wreck. Keep yeah. on going. Yeah, it just keeps going. So. I, uh, that's that. It was a slow. I mean, I mean, I mean, good for him. I mean, he's 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 an amazing player, but man, that that's messed up. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, it was a slow week for uh, video game themed things that weren't Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. So mm. you know, I tried. I gave it's you okay. guys. It's okay. I gave you guys what I found. Do better next time, Chachi. I, I'll, I'll try to do better next time. Uh, it's, all right. It's fine. Uh, back to you, Bobby. <laughs> all right. Now it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Uh, we all love Mario Kart, right? Yeah. Well, if you really love Mario Kart, it's coming to Disney XD. That's right. You too can watch the competitive Mario Karting in a one-off special on airing on December 5th at 8 o'clock. Uh, the special will, will pair regular everyday kids with t- YouTube stop with her top stars like Strawberry Seventeen and Seth Bling. Yeah, you know them. <laughs> Never heard of them in my life. Mm-mm. I am. I just turned thirty-five today, and I feel old. <laughs> uh, but Disney XD also features a fictional show about a retired pro gamer titled "Gamer's Guide to Pretty Much Everything," uh, which is also. Very interesting show, um, but yeah, it, it's cool to see that they're they're going towards the esports route with with, with uh, Mario Kart and, and this show about a retired pro gamer. I mean, it it shows that that's popular among kids today. You know, Twitch and and YouTube and mm-hmm. all the YouTubes and the Twitches and the kids. So fun times. All right, moving on. Recently, an Easter egg was discovered in Fallout regarding its possible ties to Skyrim. On the Pridewind airship, which Riz mentioned at the beginning mm-hmm. of the show, uh, the, the airship, which is the airship commanded by the Brotherhood of Steel, there is a certain experimental plant that can be found. Mm-hmm. Uh, the plant, which according to the notes in the nearby terminal, was found growing near the river, and the plant or the plant the plant also is found near rivers and waters in Skyrim, known as the Nirn, Nirn Root. Okay, some fans are even theorizing that the discovery of the Nirn Root in Fallout and Skyrim could actually be set. Er, the, hey, let me start again. The Nirn Root, which was found in Fallout now, and also in Skyrim, could actually be the Skyrim and Fallout could be linked. But Skyrim could actually be taking place in the future um, and fallout in the past due to the radiation creating the species known as like the Khajiits and the orcs and stuff like that. So I think that's an interesting kind of thing. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it could be connected or are people looking too much into this? I think Every- it's, a, oh, ahead, it's a stretch. Yeah. yeah. Um, everything can be connected to something in the future. Mm-hmm. Like, like right now, we could be a part of Fallout. You remember everybody said that that uh, uh, Dragon Age was was the future of Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everybody thought that for for once too. I mean, just because two gaming companies have the same like different games, doesn't mean they're connected. You know? Like like I remember the whole thing when uh, Grand Theft Auto Online came out, and you can be you can be either have the offspring of the oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Marston or the guy from L.A. Noir, mm-hmm. Nico, somewhere around there. But it's, it's just it's, – I don't 
It's stupid to think they're that. Neat little, they're neat little Easter eggs. It's the same That's game. About it. That's it's, about it's it. It's the same company. Let them do some things that are similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just stab them. Stab, stab you in the heart a little bit. Just go, hey, remember our this game that's co- that came out long ago? Maybe, maybe we, maybe we put that in there for future reference. Who knows? Maybe you'll have magic powers next in Fallout. Who knows? No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy Fallout, guys. Yep. That's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't it, care. It, it, I don't it's, care. It's... I don't care if if. I don't care if Dragon Age was part of Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't care if Skyrim is part of Fallout. I just want to play the game because it's awesome. Yep. They're two different franchises. Let them be. Let them be themselves. Yep. All right, guys. It's that time of the night where we embarrassing embarrassingly talk about the thing that all gamers secretly hope for in their video games. Mm-hmm. Jiggle physics. <laughs> That's right. The most jiggly of all the physics, is, aside from Jigglypuff, is the Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball franchise. Yes. Uh, Tecmo Koei <laughs> issued a statement on why the game is not coming to the U.S. or Canada and is only going to be available in Japan. Uh, in a statement, this I'm, doing, I'm reading this word for word. <laughs> in a statement from their community manager, uh, he said on Facebook, we do not bring DOA X3 to the West and won't have any plan in the future, the community manager said. Thank you for asking. He went on to say, and I quote, Do you know many issues happening in the in the video game industry with regard to how to treat female and video game industry? Mm. We do not w- want to talk these things here, but certainly... We have gone through in the last year or two to come to our decision. Thank you. Uh, Koei Tecmo then responded officially um, they, they, by issuing the following statement. Um, the comments recently made by an employee regarding Dead or Alive Extreme 3 uh, on the official Dead or Alive uh, Facebook page only reflect that individual's opinion and not the opinion or business strategy of Koei Tecmo Games. We remain focused on delivering the best and fighting entertainment to our fans around the world while co- consciously respecting and strategizing the support or to support the different global audiences the Dead or Alive franchise uh, lends itself to. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 remains in development and is still planned for release in Japan and, and Asia only. Um, so basically they had to backtrack from what that other guy said. <laughs> like, we have problems with women. With women. Go away. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> at, least he, at least he said thank you for for asking about it. Yeah, you know? at least he was polite about it. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's bring not... back here, here. Just bring back Tech Mobile. We'll 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 we'll, we'll let that go for now. Just bring back Tech I mean, Mobile. Like the Dead well, or Alive physics? fighting games I got... are really cool, but I, like the Dead or Alive Extreme Beach volleyball games are all just terrible games. They were awful. Wait, I don't Bobby, know. I don't know. My brother spent I, a lot I, of time with uh, DOA Beach Volleyball. Oh. Spent a lot of time. <laughs> spent a lot of time. <laughs> Did he happen, he happen to spend that time alone? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It, was, I, it was such a weird franchise. I don't know. I just. I'm he's in the chat, too. I know people are mad about it. But, uh, I say he's in the chat, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, can answer our question then. <laughs> we're, we're we're embarrassing Matt. We'll, we'll wait for him. We are. We will wait for Matt to answer his <laughs> Matt, question. By the why way. did you play extreme beach volleyball? So a much. Lot. A lot. Yeah. So much. All right. We'll we'll get an update if we have one later. <laughs> All right. Um, guys, you remember Fez, right? <laughs> oh, no, no. Chachi, I'm sure well, you do. When we're Valderrama. Uh, the game that was made by Chachi's best friend in the whole wide world, Phil Fish. Oh, oh that fucking, guy. Well, I fucking hate you right now, Bobby. And we earned our explicit tag again this week. Uh, Polytron's puzzle platformer, Fez, is getting a limited edition re-release in December in the form of a $100 hardcover notebook that includes the PC game and a digital copy of its soundtrack. The soundtrack is also now available as a stylish double LP from the developer's online store. Uh, The edition is limited to 500 copies and features a notebook that is bound in red canvas with gold foil deboss uh, detailed in it. 
It was also sat on by an endangered, endangered rhino and then buried in the ground, only to be found by those pigs that also find truffles. That last part's uh, made up, but uh, I don't know why that edition's available. Uh, it also comes with the DRM-free copy of the game and 26-song digital soundtrack. Uh, it is expected to ship by December 18th, but not expected to arrive by Christmas, probably because they have to ship it to Mars first to be blessed by a wizard that lives on the, the Mar Mars's moon, Ph Phobos. Um, what do you guys think about this edition? I mean, it's ridiculous. Chachi, I'm going to give the floor to you. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> Seriously! Uh, is there, I, I wonder if this is going to include all the DLC he didn't put out. Yeah. Probably not. It's just a DRM copy. It's a game, game a, with, in, yeah. with CDs. No, or a vinyl. A vinyl. 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 And you get a digital copy of the soundtrack. So and you don't even get, get to play one. it on normal things. And you get so a, you know no. what? Sign me up for $100. I'm going to buy that, and I'm not going to do anything with it. It was buried in the ground and found by truffle-finding pigs. I'm going to take $100, I'm going to burn it. Because that's how much it... That, that that sounds interesting to me. You know that wizard has to bless it first. I kind of want to buy one and then turn around and sell it on eBay for like $300 <laughs> just to piss him off. Because you know he'd be pissed off about the fact that someone is reselling his mm -hmm. stuff without giving him his cut. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. limited. It's limited to five hundred copies, so you, you you better get going on that. Yeah, I, I'm not wasting money on that for no. any reason. Yeah. No, not, not at Phil, all. It, it, Phil Fish will never see a dime from me again. Again. Well, you know what's not limited to five hundred copies? Sorg. Pizza. Sorg? It's as much Sorg. pizza oh. as you can you, as you can digest from our friends at Slice on Broadway. There, you can use that one. Uh, our friends here in Beachview in the Pittsburgh area, uh, right along the tracks, and as well as Carnegie PA down on Main Street. Check them out. It's delicious. It's great. It's wonderful people. Uh, pizza from scratch. It's not that frozen crap that they, they, they get off a truck and, and throw in and deliver it to you and, uh, and from someplace that's a hut. And uh, it's good stuff. It's fresh. It's it's it it's pizza hut? it's great. Sorry. It's great. Uh, pepperoni pizza supporting uh, Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Slice on Broadway. Pgh underscore yeah. slice on the Twitter, and of course Facebook and the Instagram. Check them out. Let them know you heard about them on the boss battle. Now let's find out what happened last week in Sorgatron Media Universe. We'll be right back. It's it's a purely notification device. Um, that's what I like it for. You know, whereas the Apple device is more it, it of wants a, to do everything else exactly right yeah this is just notifications it does fitness tracking which god knows i could use more of um notifications and uh steps it also does stairwells now which it didn't the last one didn't do i'm a freak for the wcw cruiserweight division when i dig down and and look at the original heavenly bodies and uh, a lot of Simon Dean, obviously. Uh, from the chat, Eamon is saying, Push Biggie, Ed XT, Kofi, Fire Xavier, he will have a home at Inspire Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> we sure did learn a lot this week from Sorgatron Media. How about it, guys? All right, now we're going to get to the final bottle, or final ba battle question this week. All right. As an Xbox owner, I will admit that Sony is kind of winning the war. Um, it was said that the PS4 outsold the other consoles on Black Friday this week. Also, Sony has sneakily made the PS4 even more powerful of a console, adding the use of a seventh CPU pr uh, processing core and letting developers have access to it. Well, it doesn't mean much right now as far as games go, um, but it does mean a lot in the future. It will open up the PS4 to become a really powerful console. Um, Microsoft did something similar to this uh, last year, um, and it, it seemed to help the console out a bit, but it's still not quite on par with Sony as far as like processing power goes. Um, but with the graphical power of the PS4 and the recent sales, uh, it seems that Sony is poised to win uh, this generation's console war, or at least it looks like to be the front runner right now and for the foreseeable future. However, 
all the consoles are still lacking in what a PC can do as far as the power of gaming on PC goes. Um, so the final battle question this week is, has Sony learned from trailing, trailing the 360 last console generation and use what it learned to beat Microsoft? Or did Microsoft get too full of itself and lose the war on its own? What do you guys think? Um, or is it too close to, to call? Um, and it's too early. Is it too early to call? Ahead, uh, both companies are still in business. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think they're going to be in business. I mean, there's, there's, mm-hmm. there's enough there. I don't think anybody's going to disappear like a Sega. Right. Uh, therefore, the war, no one won the war. Maybe this battle. I mean, if anything, uh, PlayStation is ahead in this round. Mm-hmm. Um, but even, I mean, even the PS3 lasted uh, almost as long as the Xbox 360 mm-hmm. last round. Yeah, so, I mean. Each console has its own fans. And right. Nintendo's still around, too. Right. So, I mean. Like generation behind. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, you can say what yeah. you want, but there's not a winner or loser. There's, yeah, yeah. I, honestly, and this is coming from the only PS4 owner mm-hmm. in this place. I had a, I had a rough time choosing a PS4 over an Xbox mm-hmm. One. Uh, the one thing that that made me want to go over there was Bloodborne. The uh, PS4 only exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, it that made me want to buy it, so I bought it. Uh, honestly, there's, I don't think there's that much of a war because it's too close to call, mm-hmm. and I, I don't think it's like, like I know, Chachi, you're a big Xbox fan, Microsoft fan. Right. Bobby, you're a big Microsoft fan. Sorry. So you're you're Microsoft too, I believe. Oh, right? I want to say I'm not really a Microsoft fan. I just, I, I mean, it, it appeals to you more. I'm, yeah. You say I, I would say if I'm a fan of anything, it's Nintendo, right? Yeah. As a as a platform, um, mm-hmm. I guess I'm just invested in the Xbox. Is, is right. my thing, and 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 comparatively, I thought it, I I like it even even with PS4 winning, I still feel like Xbox is kind of my jam. Mm-hmm. But honestly. You get both game. You get both. You get both systems having the same game. Definitely. You, you see. You see the 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 side by side comparisons all the time. Yeah, like about Kotaku the Kotaku and Gamespot and everything else. It, uh, oh, which one looks better, PS4 or Xbox One? Well, PS4 has has like has like little details on the grass. Mm-hmm. Well, P- well, so Xbox be- One has like. The little nose pimple on Snake's face. <laughs> to oh. be honest, uh, the PC looks better than all of them. Oh, well, yeah. The <laughs> so PC so Master. Tell the truth. Yeah, the PC, PC Master. PC is, Master is, you know, but, uh, like, it, it, it well, and then plus, PCs can be mod or like modded and, and changed to be better. Mm-hmm. Consoles can't, can't really, unless, like, the developer, like, the companies. A lot of money for one. Yeah, unless the companies let the developers, like, have more power like the like like Sony just did. Well, like I know for for what sometimes people buy a PC because they can mod, mm. and now you're gonna have some of that with uh, Xbox One, which is pretty cool. And and like like I believe Bobby, you were you, you were talking about like being a little bit jealous of a PS4 guy. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous, more jealous of being a PS4 guy when I see things like Conquer and all the cool things I can do on a on an Xbox yeah, One. That's true. That I can't really do on my PlayStation Four right now. Right I now. Mean, I mean, each each console has its own like franchises now. Like mm-hmm. Xbox has Halo, Gears of War, uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, Sony has Bloodborne, Uncharted, um, Uncharted. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter Five now, which mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons I'm jealous. <laughs> but you know, each console has its merits, and, and you know, they're both great. All, all three are great. The Wii, consoles, even PC. All, every, gaming is awesome. Everybody, everybody's a gamer. It's great. But like, like, like we had, we had, if we had this discussion in the ni- the nineties with you know Sega with the Sega Genesis. Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Super Nintendo coming out. 
then we would have some like serious fights about this. Guys, Nintendo we, Nintendo don't want what Sega does. Or yeah. Genesis does, <laughs> but Nintendo don't. There we there go. You. I got it right. I got it right. There you go, Bobby. It took me a while. But anyways. Um, but yeah, it, it's it, it's not more of a war as it is more of a disagreement. Hmm. Yeah. We can all agree to disagree. A, a scuttlebutt. Yeah. Yes. It's better than a presidential election. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Sorg, you got any plugs? So many things coming up. Uh, Christmas episodes are happening. You guys what? you guys have to figure out what you're doing for your Christmas episode in two weeks. Uh, yeah. We're going gonna, we're gonna to talk about video games. Oh, well, that's I'm, a good plan. I'm that's probably going to be there in studio. So. There's that too. Yeah, keep that in mind. So any special guests, anything like that you guys want to do for Boss Battle, let me know. Get it planned out. We'll slack right. you. We'll slack you. Slack. Cut me some slack. So. Mm-hmm. All right, charge any plugs. Nope. Got this stuff. Right. <laughs> Raise any plugs. Raise plays games. That's it. All right, and I'm at Bobby F. J. Town. You can follow me there on Twitter. Game over, guys. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.